Sean Flannery was a perfect uh, person to play Bobby Dagan, I think. Um, he has a lot of charisma, and it was necessary for um, for the the character to be somebody who was a little bit like, um, you know, a Tony Robbins sort, somebody who who captures people's imagination through his his character and personality. Um, at the same time, I think he did a really good job of being a little bit Weasley. You know, if you look at him closely in the in the first scene of his in the film, where he's being interviewed by the the TV. Um, uh, woman he uh he's just got a look in his eye that's not quite trustworthy and we didn't want to we didn't want to tip the audience right in that first scene that he was lying but i think when you go back and see the film again you can see that his his performance is very nuanced and he just had the right amount of sliminess to go with the the kind of appeal of his character that made it made it made it really stand out It's tough stuff. Being being an actor in one of these saw traps is super demanding. I don't I don't think the audience realizes just how hard it is to be tied down and have lights on you and camera and people and and the you know the blood resets. It's it's very complicated shooting these trap scenes. Um, and the actors, it, it's very key that they uh, can can pull it off because it's an endurance test and it's it's often very dangerous and it's it's certainly uncomfortable. This movie has uh, all the, the elements that have brought people back year after year, which is um, just a, a, a generally rich cauldron of creativity. There are just so many ideas and uh, so much talent that goes into making these films. Um, the plots are, I think, very complicated for a, a, a horror movie, and I think that's part of why they're so intriguing. There's just so much stuff going on. We always have at least three central character storylines that are interwoven throughout the whole um, movie and of course if you look at the seven films as a whole that's even richer because it's gone on for you know 10 plus hours of screen time three d really let us take advantage of the, the kind of intricacy of the sets that we make for this um, it lets us even more so than usual put the audience in the in the seat along with the victims of these jigsaw traps and, and just in general it really fleshes out and makes real the uh, the hideous world of jigsaw